Dana. Here. How are you? So nice to meet you. Good night to be here. Wow, we are here with the man behind Game of Thrones, George R. R. Martin. Wow, you're really walking the carpet right now. I'm afraid I am, yes. Wow. And it's, it's red and everything. Wow. <laughs> so what is it like being a recognized person here at Comic-Con, one of the biggest fan experiences out there? It's actually a little scary being a recognized person. Uh, I've been coming to Comic-Con since 1987. Wow. And, uh, you know, in those days there were 5,000 people here. And it was the, the hall was mostly guys with cardboard boxes of old comic books. And you could wander around and see, oh, I don't have that issue with Spider-Man. Let me pick that up. It's different now, as you may have noticed. Just a little. And I can't walk the floor anymore, which I actually miss, because, you know, there's still issues with Spider-Man I need, so. <laughs> Maybe you could put a costume on. People might not recognize you underneath. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of trying that, yeah. The scary part is there are people on the floor who are cosplaying me. I know. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> So maybe you could cosplay yourself and no one would expect it to be you underneath there. I could try that. I could try that. We'll see, see if it works. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Comic-Con is all about making big announcements for shows. What were you most excited to reveal to Game of Thrones fans? Well, I, you know, we just did the panel this afternoon and they announced a whole new casting, all yeah. the new cast members for season five, which was pretty, pretty cool. That was new even to me, so I was excited to see those guys. Wow. Yeah. Which of the Martells are you most excited for fans to see come to life on the show? Oh, you know, I love them all. I mean, Prince Duran Martell is a, is a great role, and I think we have a terrific actor playing that part. And the three Sand Snakes, uh, you know, Prince Oberyn's three daughters, very, very dangerous women, very interesting women. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see what the, our three actresses do in those three roles. They're going to create a lot of trouble in, in the books and the uh, and the show to come. Yeah, how do you decide or help decide which storylines to follow a little bit more closely for the TV series? Because you can't focus on everything at all times. It's well, deliberate and it's amazing. <laughs> I, I don't, actually. I, I write the books and David Benioff and Dan Weiss uh, have to make that tough decision. They have 10 hours to get in, you know, roughly 1,500 manuscript pages per book. They have to cut a lot of things. They have to make some hard choices. And thankfully, I don't have to make those choices. But I imagine I you highlight or something. Hey, don't forget about this. You cannot leave out X, Y, and Z, no? Yeah, I do that. And sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. It's, it's the show is their baby, the books are my baby, yeah. so. What did you think about your South Park episode? <laughs> I haven't actually watched it. No, I don't believe you. I have it on TiVo. Okay. And and my uh, various of my assistants and my wife have watched it, and they're debating whether I should watch it or not. But, but uh, I'll probably watch it eventually. I do love South Park. I, I've loved some of the other episodes that they've done. Uh, I just know I'm a sensitive soul. Would it would it be too rough on me? I don't know. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. this is the thing. <laughs> You've got so many fans out there. We'll pull you through. I do have to say, I've been told that, the, that my character in South Park is obsessed about weenies. That is true. I, I have to deny this as a scurrilous rumor. I have nothing against weenies. Okay. Uh, weenies are fine, but uh, I am not it's obsessed false. with weenies. I am definitely on the boobies side of the uh, of the equation. Okay, so they, got it. they picked the wrong equation boobies. for me. Boobies, not weenies. Boobies. Yes. <laughs> Actually, so if you were to stand in line for like two days for something, what would it be? Would it be boobies? <laughs> Uh, what do you I, geek out over? I, I would not stand in line for two days for anything. <laughs> I would just go home and order it on Amazon. <laughs> My kind of man! Thank you so Thank you. much. My Congrats pleasure. on everything. I love the show. I love the books. Thank you for My doing pleasure. what you do. Thank you. If you liked that interview, and we know that you did, click right here to check out our interview with Stephen Amell, and don't forget to subscribe.